from Krimu Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Global power company Cummins in March officially launched the Power Hub, its new multi-million rand premises in the business area of the Waterfall Logistics Precinct in Waterfall City in Midrand. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Cummins' new premises has enabled the company to consolidate its various services and sales business units in South Africa in one strategic location. Cummins Southern Africa MG Rachel Anjaraji further explains. Cummins Power Hub uh, comprises of four facilities that we've consolidated under one roof. It is a facility that has 15,355 square meters uh, under one roof. The Master Rebuild Center, our uh, Houghton and Limpopo operations, we have our Cesaro head office also located here, as well as our Africa Learning Center. So uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, new things. One of the things that we're most proud of is our new and improved Master Rebuild Center, which has capability to serve about 3,500 high horsepower uh, dyno test cell. The Power Hub is the culmination of a three-year project. Njaraji outlines the project downline. At Cummins, what we like to do is to do a very um, a comprehensive business case uh, around the, the need for the facility. So the, that work is called the feasibility study, started back in uh, 2016. And uh, post that uh, feasibility study, we then had the approval from the leadership team to proceed with the concept. Uh, after we got the approval with the, from the leadership team, then we engaged with our developer uh, partner, uh, Zenprop, who then we were able to do a groundbreaking ceremony uh, last year. And uh, post the groundbreaking ceremony, which is 13 months ago, then the work of implementing and executing the project to today is what you're able to see. The company's relocation from the Kelvin and Longmeadow offices to the Waterfall Logistics Precinct is highlighted as a strategic move, placing it at the epicenter of one of Houteng's business hubs. We actually did a lot of uh, search around Johannesburg area. Uh, one of the things that we were very cognizant of, uh, of is the fact that our employees were just down the road uh, at our Kelvin facility. So we wanted to find uh, something that was not very far away, but we also needed to make it sure that from a customer perspective, we are also uh, you know, in good proximity for our customers as well. So this location is about five kilometers uh, from our previous uh, Kelvin facility and about maybe seven to nine kilometers from our branch operations, which is the Long Meadow facility. And so uh, as you can look uh, behind us, I mean, we have such a fantastic view. You're able to have a lot of good visibility from a branding perspective. So it was a no brainer for us in terms of choosing this particular location with the upcoming you know, waterfall logistics a precinct that is uh, coming up in this area. The hub aims to engender ease of business dealings for customers and is posited to enhance the company's business capacity for customers. The decision to put our facility here and to make this investment was really belonged to the Africa leadership team. So Rachel Duroge, who leads our Southern Africa operations, plus uh, Thierry Pimi, who's our Africa head, they're the ones that did the business plan to say why is this facility necessary, What's the investment going to gain Cummins over time? What's how it's going to serve our customers? They did a lot of research ahead of time, so it was a lot of work before there was an agreement to do it. And then they re recommended the project, and then leadership team of the distribution business uh, approved the project. And so we, you know, as a, as a leader of the company, I like to empower our teams to find the right projects that serve our customers best in the region. And they did the work, and I think it's a great project. I'm really proud of it. The hub will house 250 employees. It has been designed using the common smart office concept to create a space that enhances internal collaboration and encourages engagement, thereby enabling a solution oriented approach. This includes elements such as private meeting rooms, a spacious layout, and a treadmill desk. Further, in line with the company's commitment to diversity and inclusion, it houses elements such as a meditation room. In this facility, we've got a few things going on that I think are, will really help Cummins. One is it's very centrally located, so we're able to serve our customers from here. It, it's, it, they can see the, the, the place, they know where it is, it's convenient to their locations, but it's also convenient to our employees. And we wanted to make sure that we built a world-class facility here that allowed us to recruit and retain employees. We, we know that to compete successfully in, in South Africa and frankly across the continent, it's all about getting talent. We need talent to come here and want to work with Cummins and stay with us. So we want to build a facility that people want to work in. It's very collaborative, it's open. You feel better every day you leave a facility like this versus a dark, small place. You just, you can't wait to leave. Here, uh, we have these facilities in many locations around the world and I've worked in many of them and you just feel great. 
it's a very different feeling. So that, I think that's going to be a big benefit to our employees. And then lastly, you know, we want to build growth in South Africa and in, in Southern Africa region. And we need to make sure that we have enough capacity to rebuild engines, to provide parts and service. So we want to make sure we're ready for the future. We, we know that there will be challenges in the economy in the last few years have not been that easy, but we're here for the long run. Our intent is to build the facility and to create an organization that can serve customers for long-term investment in South Africa. The new premises is the manifestation of a considerable investment from Cummins to the tune of 350 million rand. We made this investment looking towards the long run. And, and we believe that the South African economy will rebound. We believe that this entire region will have continued growth. And we want to invest for that. In fact, across the continent, we've invested for many years now. We know that not every year is going to be up. Some years will be up, some years will be down. And we know that there's challenges. We know that uh, sometimes uh, the investments we make are perfectly timed and perfectly placed, and sometimes not. But we're not really measuring this on one or two years. We're looking over decades. You know, the company's 100 years old uh, this year. So we have a long-term perspective. Of course, we always want to earn money every year. I put a lot of pressure on all the people here to make sure that they earn money on their investment. But we also recognize that to be successful and to support customers, you're going to have to make long-run investments, and you're going to have to give them time to mature. Uh, so we built this facility to last us, last us a long time. It's a, definitely a vote of confidence for our business in Africa and for the team here. I, I really could not be prouder of the leadership team here. I mean, Cummins has a, you know, for the first time in a while, we've got an African leading a local leadership team who I, I think understands the, the markets here and the people here better than any expat could ever do it. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's great for our company and great for our customers. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.